Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from David Mullins, K4ARP. He has a question regarding international third party traffic. Now, let me explain what third party traffic is. That's when you are sending a message on behalf of some third party. For example, you have a friend who has a relative in another country and would like you to make contact there so that she can talk with her, her friends and so on. This used to be extremely popular. It's not so much now because other forms of communication are available and are much less expensive. For example, email is free. So um, let's take a look at this. ARRL website under third-party operating agreements. It's not clear to me if the traffic is bidirectional or is it the U.S. amateurs may receive traffic only from those countries. Actually, the if you really come down to it, the prohibition is on transmitting. Uh, for example, you take a country to, with which we do not have third-party agreements, which is much Europe, by the way. Um, you can receive anything you want. I mean, there's no law against receiving something, but you can't transmit third-party traffic. And usually in countries like that, hams don't have a reciprocal agreement with the U.S., so they can't transmit over here. Um, it's not clear to me if the traffic is bidirectional. It's we are not allowed to transmit third-party traffic to other countries. Or is it that U.S. amateurs may receive traffic only from these countries? Receiving, like I said, is anything. But transmitting is the other thing. And it's hardly traffic if you can't transmit. My wife and her family are in England, and I want to be legally able to send them traffic if necessary. Thank you for all you do, K4ARP. Let's look on the list. Okay, third-party traffic operating agreements. It's from the American Radio Relay League. And let's take a look at the U.S. may handle third-party traffic with, and it would be um, Great Britain. Great Britain is not on that list. Neither is England or anything like that. It's not a very long list, as you notice here. The country, well, the United Country, United Kingdom, there it is, GB. Okay, so the answer is yes, you can do it with Great Britain. This is the list, by the way, found at ARRL.org slash third hyphen party hyphen operating hyphen agreements. Okay, and you found the country down here, United Kingdom. They are listed in here alphabetically. There are not a lot of European countries. For example, Germany is not on the list, but Ghana is. Okay? So to answer your specific question, David, the uh, answer is that, yes, you can exchange third-party third traffic uh, in Great Britain, uh, but there's a lot of places where you can't. In a lot of places, as happens to be the case in Great Britain, the Postal Service is government-owned, and they don't want uh, any kind of uh, encroachment on their monopoly. Uh, but in the case of the UK, we have a, a sort of a special party status with the UK, and uh, we work very closely together in a lot of things. And this, and UK, by the way, has a very active amateur population. So yes, you can exchange third-party traffic with that. So, hope that helps. And if you uh, would like to, you should probably enter the drawing for uh, this month's, uh, that would be September 2023, for the drawing. We do a drawing every month. Uh, it's something like a radio or an antenna analyzer, or something. I get sent so many things, I'll review them and then send them on to... Um, people who enter the drawing. And to enter the drawing, just send a postcard uh, or uh, this is a QSL card where he has sent it to uh, Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado 81432, 
put your shipping address, call sign, and telephone number on here so that uh, if you win and I have a question regarding shipping, I can get in touch with you. All right, so there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.